our final shape and maybe the most challenging shape is our sphere so um, it really is just a circle but we're going to map it out so it fits nicely in our cube and what we'll do later is we'll shade it to give it a sense of a 3d form so there's a few things I want you to notice about our circle when we put a circle inside a square like we did earlier our widest point of the circle is the middle so our widest point of the circle is the middle and we need to bear that in mind when we're mapping it out in a cube. So we have our final cube here. I'm just going to make it see-through like before. So we're just drawing that base square in and we're actually going to draw one more square in and this is going to be a plane that sits in the middle of our cube. So what you need to do is you need to draw a point in the middle of our vertical lines, our sides. So here's about the middle here, so middle there, middle here, and middle here. And we're going to join those up. And if you've done those correctly, then they should be parallel with all the lines on that edge. So can you see that's parallel with that and this? And we're going to draw this here. So that's pretty much parallel. Draw another line there. It's pretty parallel with that. And then our final lit line there. So this is like a plane in the middle of our rectangle, our um, cube. And this is where we're going to draw our circle, our ellipse. So I don't know if you can see the construction lines in my sphere here. We have a circle in the middle. So like before, we're going to measure out our midpoints on that line. If you've done a really good job, they should actually be where our base is. So it should intersect where our base is. And we're going to draw our ellipse. So again, we have our flat top and bottom. And we have our curved left and right edges. Like so. Now there are a few ways in which you can map out your circle. I would say the easiest way is to draw a horizontal line from one corner to the other. Yeah. And this is this would be our di diagonal in real life. And where those cross over, that's the very center of our cube and our ellipse. Now what I want you to do is look at this distance here. So you're going to look at this distance and then mark out on the vertical line how far that is. So you could even use your fingers just to figure that out. So I would say that that comes there because we know that what's unique about sphere is the center point is always the same distance away from the edge, always. Yeah, that's why we have a radius. So I'm going to draw this up to the top. See that distance, this distance, this distance, it's about the same. And this is where you're going to really carefully try and draw your circle. There are other complex ways of drawing spheres, but I would say this is a pretty good way and quite a simple way to start with drawing our sphere. And remember, you might find it easier to rotate the paper and use the, the curve of your wrists as you draw to create your curves, your circle. So I'm just joining those points up. I would say, just looking at my picture, I would probably bring my top point down a bit. So mine's quite a, a tall sphere, but give it a go and keep adjusting. So we have six geometric shapes here, and um, they take practice, they do, especially if you're freehand sketching, but it's really good to get in the habit of using crating, which is using a cube to help you, obviously using pencils and mapping out your drawings.